Genau. Und in den Fuel. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So me and Chris are out here on this windy day, as you can see. Hey, today we're gonna be doing some wade fishing. So some things that I look for for new wade fishing spots. I'm gonna show you that. I'm also using some of these new Spro Amino Bites. These things are pretty awesome guys. They work very well. Uh, this is the, uh, the Pocket Tail Minnow 3.75 inch. It's got the shrimp Creole color. They work very, very well. So we're gonna be trying those. What do you think, Chris? Hey, let's go get them. All right, so another thing, guys, I'm gonna be throwing, let me see this one. So you guys have seen this before. This is the little Helios, small little Okuma uh, spinning reel. And this is gonna be doing the job today. This is paired with the SRT inshore uh, premier rod. I love the little action or the action that this rod has perfect for artificial Maybe a little windy today guys. So bear with us Let's go Let's go. So we're going in. It's pretty thick That wind is blowing. It said nine knots. Yeah, right. It's blowing 20 right now And we're sheltered Trying not to break my rod. It's been so long. It has been long. So we'll make sure before I go getting all soaking wet. Dude, that water's gonna be shitty. Oh, with that wind. <laughs> it's cold, guys. But it's beautiful. Well, they're gonna be sitting up in this pocket. All right, so guys, we got a major feed at 157. 157 to like, I think it was like 350 or something. Something like that. Um, we got a strong north wind. Uh, we got a front pushing in, so it's kind of a pre-front bite. So I'm thinking it's gonna be good. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. What we're targeting here is a deep pocket of water right out here. And uh, with these pre-front conditions and the, the water, uh, the depth or the hole here, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to bet that this is gonna be good. What? Chris sees so. A gar, dude, I think that was a gar. Chris saw a gar back there. Again, I got my mission fishing, quarter ounce jig head and gold, and then my Spro, trying that new Spro soft plastic. I think it's gonna be all right. And with the water being chillier, you may wanna even, you know, you wanna vary your retrieve, slow down the bait. You know, because these fish are going to be a little chilly. <laughs> Guys, I'm hooked up. Wow, you think so? Fish, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it, though. He's got to be button. No, oh, yeah. He came up and slayed on this, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go behind him. He's coming. He's coming. Chris just hooked a tarpon. Do you think if I cast, it'll fire, they'll fire up at all? I don't know if they're fired up, but he he he's slayed on this thing. Chris said, what if we catch a tarpon today? We've been trying to catch a tarpon out here for a while. Oh, he's good. He's a good size. Oh, he spit it. No. He spit it. He spit it. Hold on. Hold on. I just have to make this be known, guys. I did catch the first one and I landed him. No, you did it. He <laughs> so, snagged the so poon. The real story is I kept getting pecks, like little pecks. And I, I finally, I tried to hook set a couple times and then I finally just gave it my all and this came up. And oh. I'm like, Josh. And he goes, I'm going to take your fish. <laughs> and sure enough, the second cast in I did, but he didn't stay button. So now I got to get a new bait out of this bag. Chris is like, man, what is this? All right, guys, so I got my Spro. Here we go, the pocket tail minnow. I'm gonna put the white on here. 
and uh, see if that helps. Is that what you're throwing? Oh, okay. White's always a good color, guys. If you, I mean, if all else fails, go to white. You know that's the only one we've actually hooked in here? <laughs> no, I've hooked a couple. That's the first one I've gotten that close, so. Dude, he was like 18, 20, maybe 25 pounds. A nice little fit. He's beautiful, I'll tell you that much. All right, so I'm just hooking this on my mission fishing. Wait till it starts to curve. Make it sure it's as straight as possible. Push it up on that barb of that mission fishing. It's going to look like that. Going to run true. So that was a good sign. That's a, the, I think we just got into the major feed. So that's what we're doing now is trying to get these fish fired up. So I was bouncing it when yeah, he hit that. if they were off the bottom earlier. Water temp's about 68 degrees, right? Right in between 68 and 70, depending on the shallow areas that you're fishing. But it's not too, too terribly cold. So these fish aren't locked up, guys. Oh, oh one just rolled 12 o'clock. So this is where we're, oh, right there. There's another one. There's on there. What is that right that there? Those are mullet or no, something. Oh, well, here, you keep cutting me off. Let me. No, there was one 12 o'clock in front of you as well. Oh, you, you saw that? Did he eat it? Dude, he hit it. Like, should I set it right when they grab it? Yeah. You got to button them. If you don't, they'll inhale it and shave you off. We're using a really light leader, guys. 20 pound Spro leader, to be exact. And uh, I guess telling Chris, if you don't set that hook and button them, then you'll, you'll never get them. The reason these little white pintail minnows look so good, too, is because they're like, they look like little mullet almost. And, and the thing about wade fishing, guys, is these fish, they don't know we're here. You know, they, we have a very small footprint, uh, no noise. They really, they're just not suspecting of anything. There's a lot of bait in front of us. That feed just kicked off, and it's funny how everything's correlating. That wind is still blowing hard, I'm sure you guys can hear just fine. That's why it's good to fish with a partner, guys. If your partner's getting a bite, you just come over here next to them and cast, and you'll get their fish a lot of time. <laughs> Realistically, you can fish two different baits. <laughs> See what the fish are feeding on. Yeah, definitely fish two different baits, you know? See what they're feeding on, and then pop, pop. So guys, just so you know, we're using this Gamagatsu bag right here. And this is their waterproof bag. Perfect for a quick trips like this where you just want to go wade fishing and take very uh, few things and keep your electronics and like I got my GoPro batteries in there things like that so right now we're just spot stocking I see a big shadow right here I just want to make sure it's not anything that's that rock right hey you never know in a position guys there's a drop off right here and i'm looking for that deeper pocket a little bit of water flow and then of course bait and uh, these fish will be staged up along this area right here i switched it up to a, a gulp see if that uh entices a bite Wind's definitely picking up. We're just a little more sheltered right here. Rock, twig. Rock, twig, sleepy fish. 
Definitely not a fish. There it is. Twig. See that, guys? See how exciting that was? <laughs> I'm like, dang it, man. Yeah, now you spooked all the fish. They just looked at their cover. Just watch their cover swim away. Ooh. Oh, there he is. I said I was very close to it. Looks like a pencil. It might be. Oh, it's oh, a little snook. Or a bass. I say, oh, that little the little rock is right there, guys. <laughs> oh, wow! That is the story of my life today. <laughs> they're they're right on top of them rocks. Hey, felt good to get a hit. That was a newborn, Chris. Oh, there he is. Oh, he jumped off again. Come on, I got a hook on here. What's going on, Mission Fishing? In all fairness, the Mission Fishing, they're, they're hitting it. They're just not super aggressive. Even the tarpon earlier was, they weren't like nailing it or anything. <laughs> I'm trying to hook you good. I just need to touch a fish. Oh my God, there he goes. Dude, let me check the barb on this thing. It's there. They're just so small guys, they're just, they're not really getting the whole bait. It's a pretty big bait. Oh, we found where all the baby snookers stacked up. What is going on? I'm in the nursery. And I can't get one to me, so. All right, so I'm gonna put this little uh, gulp on here. Oh yeah, gotta love that smell. This is a smaller bait. I notice there's a lot of small baits running around, so. Look at that thing, it's tiny. Oh yeah, I'm gonna catch a monster fish today. Oh yay. Whoa. I like that, wrapped around the rod tip. Try again. Dang, that went pretty far for a little bitty bait. Wasp on you, wasp, wasp. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chrissy. Dude, I saw your line and I was like. <laughs> oh. oh, that's karma, dude. I just casted my lure off, guys. Straight karma. That was karma. I'm messing with Chris. Come on, man. The braid broke. I told you I don't like this braid. Gosh darn it. And look, guys. It goes to show you the braid actually broke. My knot is still intact. So I know I touched base on it a little bit earlier, guys, but some of the things you want to look for is tidal flow. You want to look for, uh, you know, areas that go from shallow to deep. There's a deeper pocket right out in front of us. We got mangroves surrounding us, so there's, you know, ambush areas next to the uh, deeper potholes or holes and uh just make sure you're fishing in that major and minor time the wind did die down quite drastically which is nice because it was blowing probably 20 knots when we first got here 15 to 20 
and uh, it's really died down. It's really pleasant. I've uh, just been throwing artificial. It's all we've had today. Okuma, uh, SRT, and then the Helios here. It's been good to us. Poor Chris is. Oh, Chris is on. That's a snoot. He spit it. Oh. Day. Chris didn't yank the. About ripped the lips off that fish because he thought it was a tarpon. He's been after that tarpon ever since I came over and hooked his fish. It's angry. <laughs> Last time I did that, guys, my lure flung off. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, I know it probably will be the case. Dang it, man. Why are you wishing that on me, man? That's sick. Did I throw over you? Trying to get that duck over here. So that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if you did, give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Hey, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're uh, you get some sneak peeks as to what's going on. We also post some different content. And uh, if you're into the TikTok, we've been posting some funny things on TikTok as well. So it's just salty scales. Or you can go to saltyscales.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, and we have all of our social profiles down there. What do you think, Chris? Hey, pretty successful day. We didn't get to touch a fish, but we sure hooked a lot of them. Uh, we didn't touch them, but we got them all within leader touch, so I guess you might maybe call it a catch. I don't know. But uh, it was a good time. It was something different. We ain't been out wading in a while, and uh, felt good to get out in the water, and it's not too cold. Beautiful day. What more can you ask for? Hey, till next time, guys. We'll see you on the water.